this is Anthony with Copley. Today I'll be talking about how to command motion using Move It To and CML. Move It To is a robotic manipulation platform. It uses ROS2 and it's all open source. So it has some amazing features like uh, motion planning, manipulation, visualization, control, and navigation. So if you Google, why do I need Move It? Then you get uh, arm navigation is the number one answer. So the basic task for the Move It system is to provide the necessary trajectories for the arm of a robot to put the end effector in a given place. So if we have a, a robot with many axes, this robot is part of the standard example that you get with Move It. It has seven axes, seven joints. So we want the end effector to travel in a straight line. The math behind doing that is rather complex. It uses um, inverse kinematics and uh, Jacobian matrices and other you know very uh, complex math models. So we're going to use ROS2 and MOVE IT2 to calculate the position for each joint for in each frame. So each one of these um, these you know, middle points is a frame and we want the position of each joint for each one of these frames. And then we'll just stream the positions to each joint in real time using CML software. And CML software uses real time protocols for motion and that have standards like CAN Open Protocol and EtherCAT Protocol. So the RVIS plugin is very nice. It has some nice uh, testing features. You can just click and change these settings and um, uh, it has collision awareness um, and it'll approximate solutions. Um, and so if you want to access these same features in C++, you just call on the C++ API for interacting with ROS. So if, if you want to get started, just you know go to this um, tutorial for Move It and it'll have you know your first creating your first C++ Move It project. So what I did is I just created a target pose. Um, I gave XYZ coordinates for the end effector, an orientation, and then um, I asked Move It to create a plan to that target pose. And then um, you get the positions. We're just going to extract those commanded positions from the plan. So um, each position is going to be in radians uh, for each joint. And then I'm going to convert that to degrees, and then I'm going to convert from degrees to encoder counts. And then I'll just stream down those encoder counts using a PBT constant acceleration object in CML. So here's just an example. Um, you know, we move to the starting position for each um, for each axis, and then we're going to use. Um, we're going to use RViz, I'm sorry, uh, move it to, to command, to calculate those positions and stream them down to real time. This is a can open uh, network. So uh, that's what's happening there. If we go forward here, um, we can see all the messages in real time being streamed to each one of the seven axes. So these are PDOs that are being transmitted by each axis. So if you'd like to access this example, just go to our Copy Controls GitHub page, and it's it's on there. So uh, reach out with any questions, and I uh, hope you found this presentation helpful.